Welcome to Dyer Headlines, I'm Anthony Carlyle, thank you for joining us. First up today, after days of careful planning and preparation, Suji began an eight-day distribution of fertilizer in cyclone-hit areas of Myanmar. Farmers in the Kiaotan Township received their supplies on Saturday to Monday. The fertilizer provides timely nourishment for seedlings that have grown from rice grains volunteers distributed earlier this month. Dunning live fish, volunteers bought boats and traverse the sparkling lake. Anticipation is high all around, for today Tsiji will be distributing two kinds of fertilizers to local farmers. <laughs> <laughs> Villagers stand in line, receiving the disaster relief team in the warmest fashion. With every step, volunteers are surprised to find solicitude in the form of white powder scattered along the path. The ground is quite slippery. They were worried that city volunteers might slip, so they sprinkled lime along the way. We are very grateful for their thoughtfulness. <laughs> Villagers have long been waiting for the fertilizers, each weighing a hefty 50 kilograms. The potassium sulfate compound is ideal for Myanmar's salty soil, helping fruits grow. On the other hand, the urea fertilizers will increase the grain yield. Recognizing volunteers' distribution efforts, the Myanmar government has sold potassium sulfate fertilizers cheaply to Tsiji. came to help us during hard times. I'm very happy and I cannot express my thanks enough, my endless thanks. Tsuji volunteers have helped us do what we previously could not have done on our own. This help is huge and the rice production will definitely increase. Vital to the recovery of farmlands are correct fertilizers, now supplied by Tsuji. Between July 26 to 28, a series of fertilizer distributions was carried out in Kyoktan Township, aiding 460 households and instilling hope for the October harvest. Staying in Myanmar, city volunteers recently bought building materials for a pair of little sisters so they could repair their dilapidated house. To the volunteers' surprise, when they returned a week later, the industrious villagers had already finished the renovation work. The overflow of mutual love and compassion in the village has created a new home, brimming full of love. <laughs> Living alone with her younger sister, Dai Weini is more like a mother in the house. City volunteers stepped in their lives determined to change their situation. Volunteers and villagers take care of the cost and labor required to repair the sister's dilapidated house destroyed in the cyclone. The first step is to purchase the building materials, 50 sets of palm leaves. Dai Weini's uncle is happy to help. Everyone is poor here. He says he's also poor, but he's delighted that you are here to help. He's more than happy to lend a hand to fix this place. We have everyone's support to help Dai Weini. Although it's hard for the people here to get by, they don't mind that we are not helping them, but just Dai Weini's family. Secondly, we also hope to inspire their kindness so that they can join us in helping others. With her father no longer alive and her mother now by her side, Dai Weini relies on temporary jobs to get by. Such a story is heard one too many times in the village, as casual labor is what supports most residents in the area. Now Cyclone Nages has made their already impoverished life even worse. However, the harshness of their life hasn't diminished the kind nature of these Burmese people. Upon the volunteers revisit a week after they purchased the building materials, they can barely recognize Dai Weini's house. The windows are fenced by bamboo and new walls and roof have also been built. Although it still lacks furniture, it is already a warm and loving house for the locals. Dai Weini busies herself with chores, cooking dinner for everyone. And the village, the more able, often help those in need. Today, as usual, every villager shares a small portion of food to fill their stomach. The mutual love and help is the envy of the volunteers. Here is more comfortable than our hotel. The natural wind is nice and it's not too hot. 
exploiting the nature qualities of the palm leaves, which contract when hot and expand when cool. Red water doesn't leak through the roof. Before we came to help, whenever it rained, they had to use an umbrella and hide in the corner until the rain stopped. Now the house construction is completed, city volunteers will continue to build a brighter future for the little sisters.